The following movie is classified G and is recommended for general viewing. Hey, can I help you? Yeah, I have an overnight letter here for Jeffrey Wyatt. He needs a signature. Okay, I'm um, wait here. I'll get him. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, could you please just get Jeffrey Wyatt? Sure. Hi. Can I help you? You're very funny. You Hysterical. I need to see Jeffrey White. Can you get him? Can you do that? No prob. A little too much coffee this morning? Hello. Can I help you? I need to see Jeffrey White. I'll get him right away. Hello. Can I help you? What? Could you sign this? Could you do me that favor and sign that? Just sign Jeffrey Wyatt. That's Jeffrey. Right. Good. This is your package. Well, that's it. This is my last delivery. The Wyatts. I'll remember this. This is going into my book. I'll never forget this family, the comedian family here. Unbelievable. I'm getting, I'm going back to school. My goodness, he was absolutely insane. I know. He was kind of cute. Lisa, where'd he go? Somebody say there was a messenger here for me? Hey, Dad, what was that big deal letter about? I'm a lawyer in Hawaii. Something to do with Aunt Sylvia's estate. Hmm. Jess, have you seen my new sweater? Well, Lisa, I should have known. She didn't even put it back. Well, I think she washed it for you. She better not have put it in the dryer. Well, the bonding process between stepdaughter and stepmother should begin well before the wedding. If that bond is not established before the wedding, or very soon after, the relationship could be damaged beyond repair. Beyond repair? Hi. Oh, you startled me. Oh, what are you reading? Oh, just tips on the wedding. Oh, are you nervous? Petrified. <laughs> well, so, how, how's everything? Fine. Um, oh, have you seen my striped scarf? Oh, I haven't. But I can help you look. Or, or lend you mine. Or we could run down to the store and get another. I'll just run my polka dot one. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is she. Oh, flight change? 311, Honolulu. Uh, the wedding's in... Two days. <sighs> Petrified. OK, that's it for now. But I got to go to the fabric store. I'll be right back. Bye, Susie. Bye, Sharon. Thanks. Bye, girls. Bye, Sharon. Megan's looking for you. And what, you told her about the sweater? What did you tell yeah, her Ben Milton, for? please. Look at this. Oh, Mr. Milton, Jeffrey Wyatt. Fine, fine. No, yeah, I got your letter. Look, Lisa, this is the last time I'm going to say this. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, we, we have a good connection. Is it? Girls! Oh, give it a rest. Yeah, well, I, I, I was a bit curious you about... You at least uh, say we're sorry. Okay? I'm sorry you narked on me. Oh, yeah, I didn't well, hold, nark hold on, on you! Jesse, please, hold it down. Please. Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do anything. It's those guys. They can't say two words without putting me in the middle. Hey, honey, honey, come here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snap, okay? I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Milton. Right, and you were... What was that? Uh... Ladies.
ladies of the Wyatt family, we have just inherited a hotel. Uh, 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 in Hawaii. What? No way. <laughs> really? Aunt Sylvia's? I've told you all about it. It is the most beautiful place. It's all done in plantation style, with these wide open porches and manicured lawns, and it's right off the ocean with its own private beach. Jeffrey. Well, let's go now. Go. Now. <clears throat> well, we own it, right? So we don't have to pay for our rooms. And you could do that hula dance, the one you won all those trophies for. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, girls, 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 we'd all like to just jump on a plane and go now, but, uh... Uh, Actually, we are stopping in Hawaii on our way to Australia. Well, well, I'll tell you what. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Heard that before. World's longest way of saying no. Oh, Jeffrey. Well, they seemed so disappointed. Oh, well, we'll go eventually, as soon as we all get some time together. What? They're going to be fine. In two hours from now, they'll be on to something else. No, but you see, I don't want them to think that I'm the kind of person who doesn't listen. <laughs> no. No. You see, I've read, heard, that it's important to bond, to spend time together, you know? Mm -hmm. I think you're absolutely right. And we have the rest of our lives. And you can start right after the honeymoon. Might as well forget it. The only way we're going to see that hotel is if we inherit it. Too bad, because I think Susan wanted to take us. I know she wanted to take us. I've seen what she's been reading these days, and it's a first-class ticket to paradise. Oh, I know. I should have said more. No, it's not you. You have been great. It's just, well, when I thought we could all go to Hawaii together, yeah. it felt really great, you know? Uh, a family type of a thing. Mm. You know, we, we've never really done that. Yeah. yeah, it just depressed me, the way Dad just tossed it off. Anyways, I, I don't know how Megan and Jesse feel, but, well, do you kind of... I'll talk to your father, if you want. Oh, Jeffrey. It's our honeymoon. You don't take kids on your honeymoon. No, the trellis goes on the other side. But it's not really our honeymoon until Australia. Did you order this size table? The girls want to be with us so badly. Much as I know they love us, I think this has more to do with Hawaii. But of course it has. I mean, you've told them for years about this hotel and the wonderful summers you've had there. I mean, why wouldn't they be dying to see it? Okay. Look, honey, I think the sentiment is fine. Me too. In fact, it's more than fine. Is this all the chairs that we ordered? But this is supposed to be our time, you see? And if we're constantly having to keep our eyes on the girls... Excuse me, I think we ordered more chairs. Oh, we must have. Maybe this isn't our order. Weiler? Susan, do you take Jeffrey to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold until death do you part? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. May kiss the bride. Oh. Any news on the travel front? Not yet. I knew this wouldn't work. And Sharon said she'd join us after a few days. What? And then we'd have a little time on our own in Hawaii. And she could keep an eye on the girls mm -hmm. when we're in Australia. Pretty good idea, don't you think? Well, smile. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha, I have to admit, bringing the girls was a pretty good idea of mine. Yours? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll be wonderful. Spend some time together. Really get to know each other as a family. Postcards. Girls? I've got to get my board. Lisa? Hi. Hi. Hey, Brian, how you doing? All right, we made it.
You know, I try to make small talk, but <laughs> talking's not really my thing. No, really. Hey, so where you stand? White House in Manoa Bay. Oh, really? Pretty good surfing there. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe. Boy, brown eyes really do me in. He's cute. Of course he's cute. He's a moron. Cute, undependable, and boring. How can you tell so fast? Because I've been through it a zillion times. I'm a moron magnet. A moron? Lisa least meet a new guy? So why do you keep going out with him? His geniuses all look like Woody Allen. I think Woody Allen's cute. Not as cute as a moron. Okay. Did it ever occur to you that the reason you change boyfriends about every other week? I don't believe it. What? The Uli Uli Hula Festival. It's this week. Oh, well, that, that sounds very exciting. We should all go. Go? You know, this is the Super Bowl of hula. Huh? huh? Great. Am I right? I don't know. I hate that stuff. Yeah, well, I used to enter this thing every summer. Oh, you must have looked really cute in a grass skirt. You ready? Oh, we're going. Everybody loves the hookie Where the bad and the cowboys are being blue out. And we throw our nets out into the sea. And oh yeah, we come swimming to me. Oh, we're going to the hookie To the hookie 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 Stop here for a second. I want to take a look. Well, this is it. Huh. Bummer. So you folks are staying here? Uh, no, no, we own it. Go ahead and keep my tip. You'll need it. <laughs> well, it certainly has beautiful uh, trees. Uh, it's sure oh. different than Dad described it. It sure is. Heard in the day, lulled by the moonlight, have all passed away. You must be the wife. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Chuck Stutz. I'm the manager. We spoke on the phone. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. These are my daughters, Lisa, Megan, Jesse. Hi. 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 Well, one's fun, two will do, but three's for me. <laughs> Beautiful girls, Jeff. You must be very proud. Uh, yeah, I am. This is my uh, wife, Susan. A uh, big aloha to you. <laughs> uh, let's get you folks settled. <gasps> oh. oh, sorry. Frightened me. <laughs> I don't know. I feel sorry for Megan. Why? Well, she seems so lovely. Well, you know, I used to think that way, too, but now I'm convinced that um, she just likes to be alone sometimes. Still, I'd like to help her open up somehow. I don't know. Make more friends? Maybe even get a boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> oh by the way, I called the Hula Festival. They've agreed to squeeze me into the competition. Huh? Jeffrey, are you really going to do a dance? Oh, absolutely. You know, each dance tells a story, and I thought, well, I would take you and the girls, and I would dance the story of our family up to when we got married. Hmm? Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. I don't believe it. You know, I carved those initials over 25 years ago. Hmm. Who's W.B.? Wendy. Uh, Birkenbeck. Oh. Pretty name. Mm. Maybe you want to dance me that story. Oh, yeah, all right. The same. Are you hoping to run into her again, maybe? It's my sole reason for returning to paradise. It is? Oh, sure. 
She still owes me 75 cents. <laughs> oh, miss, do you work here? Well, not exactly. How fortunate. I've caught your attention. My waitress seems to be otherwise engaged, no doubt working on a rocket fuel formula. I trust you're not similarly distracted? Well, I was just going you're to You're new here, aren't you? Well, no. See, well, we own it. I mean, my dad's stepmom, well, we inherited this. Ah, oh, yes, yes. You must be one of the Wyatts. Well, I'm Charlotte Brink, but you may call me Mrs. Brink. Now, today is Tuesday, and every Tuesday, as you will learn, I start with honeydew melon, sliced into four strips and lightly sprinkled with sugar. Sprinkled, mind you. And how can you hope to dazzle me with your waitressing skills if you don't write it down? Uh, well... Well, okay, um... Okay, um, that was melon? Melon, yes. With what again? Honey? I can see already we're off to a rocky start. Fortunately, I'm famous for my patience. The place really needs to be stripped and dipped. The sea air has played havoc with the paint and varnish. It's so sad to see such a beautiful place in such a state. But the money it would take to even start turning it around. This is Kao. He works here for me part time. Hi. Hi. I think I finally got it fixed, Chuck. Great. Now, where was I? Well, the electric shot, and the plumbing's rusted, and a lot of the wood's rotting. Oh, yeah, but look what's still here. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful place. The uh, quality of the craftsmanship. I mean, it, it just reads some history. What kind of business have we been averaging, Chuck? Oh, well, right now we've got a total of eight guests, but um, subtracting you and yours, that's an actual guest count of three. This is nothing like I remember. People used to wait for months to get into this place. What happened? Just built a new hotel down the beach, so you get an increase in competition with a resulting decrease in gross earnings, which leads to a total drying up in your key area of liquidity. In a nutshell, dark side of capitalism. That looks more like the dark side of maintenance to me. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely sketch. My son's an artist, too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get up. I'm Becky Harris, and uh, we're renting a house just up the beach. Oh, Susan Wyatt. Nice to meet you. My stepdaughter, Megan. Uh, Hi, Megan. Hi. Hi. Yeah, Ted's just about your age. Yeah, he's very sweet. He's a little shy. It was hard for him to meet kids his own age. And he's an artist, too. Ah, uh, oh. Uh, well, Megan, maybe you'd like to... Sure, um, you could give me your number and I'll, and I'll call him. Oh, all right, all right. It's okay, it's just a sketch. Okay. There. <laughs> well, I hope to see you again. Sure. Bye-bye. Nice meeting you. Bye. Nice board. I have a feeling you took her number to stop him calling you, right? Well... But his mother said he was an artist, very sweet. Oh, what am I saying? When I was your age, I ran from mothers who said their sons were very sweet. It's just that I want you to have some fun while you're here. Are you, are you having fun? Really, Susan? I'm fine, thanks. Because I, I really... I wouldn't feel happy going off to Australia if I thought you were going to be... I'm having fun. All right. Well, we'll all go out. Later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Whatever she wants you to do, do it. Look, this guy sounds perfect for you, Mr. Sweet, sensitive artist. And it'll make Susan feel better. And the better Susan feels, the faster she and Dad are down under. Look, I'm not going on a blind date just so my sister can run wild through the pineapple fields. Just lay off, okay?
Megan sees you wearing her clothes, she'll kill you. If Megan ends up with a boyfriend, she'll love me for life. What are you doing? Just a fave for all of us. Look, Susan's not gonna relax until Megan gets a little more social. So, I'm gonna nab her guy that she doesn't have the guts to go after and then hand him over to her. <laughs> that way, Susan will relax and head off to kangaroo land and we can all enjoy a real vacation. How do you know this guy's gonna go for you? Because nice little Megan's gonna show him a first date that'll set his skin on fire. Lisa! Got a jam. Don't want this dream date to cut into my surfing time. Aloha, 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 What is this, a gag? A favor from my mom? What? No, I, I just... Yeah, you just find me so unbelievably attractive, so totally irresistible, you're breaking land speed records getting me here? I... Whatever is going on, it's not the real deal, because girls like you do not do things like that to guys like me. Tim! What? You don't think that I might just like you? Oh, yeah, sure. Look me in the eye and tell me I'm the hottest looking guy you've ever seen. One of the hottest looking guys. That's stupid. A hot looking guy. A moderately good looking guy. A guy who doesn't frighten you. A guy who frightens you, but you might get used to. So what do you think the problem is? OK, the carburetor got hot and the engine is vapor locked. Gonna need some time to cool. Hey, uh, there was a beach down the way. You wanna go, uh... So how come your mother tells everybody you're an artist and not an engineer? One guess. She wants you to be an artist and not an engineer. Bingo. You know, that's kinda like my dad and me. I mean, we get along okay and everything. It's just that I don't think he really gets me, you know? I'm like the family weirdo. Yeah, me too. And I'm the only child. How about you? I've got two sisters. Older or younger? One's a little older and one's a little younger. Well, so? Two family weirdos finally meet. This could be dangerous. I just want to make sure that if we sell it, we sell it to somebody who isn't going to want to just tear it down. Well, that won't be easy. Why is that? Well, primarily because whoever buys it is just going to want to tear it down. Plus, you got that new hotel down the beach, the tower. They have golf, air conditioning. Water slide. I love that slide. I love to go face first, even though you're not supposed to. Excuse me, excuse me. Are you trying to tell me that there isn't one buyer out there who wouldn't appreciate this place for just the way it is? Yeah, but the tower hotel. Oh, the tower hotel. That's not the real Hawaii. That's cold. It's plastic. It's utilitarian. That's true, but they got that. The free water, water slide. slide. Thank you. Isn't there something you should be doing right now? Mm, I got a golf game. Jeffrey, I have been an attorney here on the island for a very long time. This just happens to these old places. Well, this is not going to happen to this place. Not as long as the, the Wyatts are running it.
You know, you're not my type at all. You're smart. You're funny. I can talk to you. You actually talk back. I, uh, guess what I'm trying to say is... I think I'm sick of my type. I might call that guy. What's his name? Tim? Tim! I, um, I didn't tell you this, but I, um, kind of met him. Tim. Um, well, I saw him, sort of. Oh, yeah? And he, um, he wouldn't, um, he is definitely not your type. Yeah. I think you made the right choice. Don't call him. Oh, really a geek, huh? Yeah. Well, who says you need a guy to be happy? Yeah, not me. The bonding process can and should be reinforced in any number of everyday activities. The most significant of these with a teenage girl is shopping. All right, everybody ready to go bonding? Shonding? I mean shopping. Okay, let's go. What do you think of this one? Colors the loud Oh, Jesse, look at this. What a beautiful color. I think I'll try this on. Try what on? This. What do you think? Oh, well, you don't like it? No. Well, ooh, cool. Oh, Lisa, what have you picked out? Oh, you think? Oh, oh my. <laughs> hmm. How about. Oh, great color on you. you know, what about this one? Well, I'm. Um... <laughs> Just uh, trying to imagine what your father would think about it. Oh, I'm not buying it for him. I'm sure he'll get that right away. Megan, have you found anything yet? No. Thank goodness. Well, I'm sorry you girls didn't find anything. Oh, maybe we should go to another shop. Well, Ashley, Susan, I've kind of got somebody to see. Yeah, this has been great and everything. Yeah, go to jam. Oh. Bye. But, but, girls! It's so wet. We're fine. Huh. Well, I guess it's just you and me, hmm? I guess. So is there anything you want to do? I mean, we don't have to shop. We can uh, go look at a volcano or hike up to a waterfall or we can go snorkeling. Oh, that'd be I used to love snorkeling when I was a little girl. Hey, brown eyes. Hi. What's up? Uh, not much. Did I hear you two guys talking about going snorkeling? Well, I got to tell you, that you ought to go with an expert. Yes, well, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. And it just so happens that you're looking at one. I know every reef on this island. Well, actually, we, we were going to, to do something else first. Well, Susan, why don't you go ahead and do that other thing, and I'll catch up with you later. I mean, you said you wanted me to have fun, and I'd really love to learn from an expert. Well, then let's hit it. Bye. Well, that was a big success. You're pretty good at that. Look at the fish. It was so beautiful. How come you never tried it before? Oh, scared, I guess. Of oh, what? Uh, I don't know. You still scared? I don't know. You want to go home? I don't know. Honey, Chuck, the only things that don't seem used in this hotel are the tools. <laughs> they look like they've never been touched. How would you explain that? 
That's one of the many mysteries of this place, Jeff. You know, I'm not one to talk about your black magic, your dark arts, but how do you explain it? I mean, the old hotel falls apart, and yet the tools stay new. Mm. It's bizarre. Yeah. Certainly is one for Ripley's, huh? Hey, Chuck. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey Jess. Dad. Look, I think you and your dad need some quality time. Well, we'll talk later. Later, dude. Yeah. Hey, Dad, you know what you said what this place really needs is like a big cleanup? Uh-huh. Well, I had this great idea how we can do it cheap. Throw a party. That guy, Carol, says that if there's plenty of food during and a big party after, then lots of kids will come. Well, I think that's a great idea, The honey. pounding and the shrieking and, oh, my God, Pearl Harbor was wilder. I mean, Jeff, this freak is slippery. What are you mumbling about? Oh. Oh. Mrs. Brink! Oh. Mrs. Brink! Oh. Mrs. Brink. Oh. oh, get me a doctor and my lawyer. I just feel terrible. I know. It was just an accident. I talked to her doctor, and he said it's a minor break. She'll be in a cast for a month at the most. Is she going to sue us? Oh, sweetie. I doubt it. I don't want you worrying about this, OK? If only I hadn't been mopping right there. Jesse, I'm telling you. It... I'm going to really make it up to her dad. I'm going to take really good care of her. Well, don't take on too much, OK? It's supposed to be a vacation, OK? Huh? Are you sure that's enough? Well, it's the best offer we've had for the place so far. I think I should just go in and meet the guys and spell it out to them that if they buy this place, they can't change it. Huh? Are you sure you'll be back in time for the Uli Uli Festival? Are you kidding me? I've been practicing for days. Good, because I've got something for you. Where'd you get that? I made it. No. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, honey. <laughs> oh, it fits. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you're going to make sure that everybody is ready to go by four, OK? Trust me. Hey, Lise. Are you going to help paint? I'd love to, but I'm going out a little while, and I'm just finishing my nail. Well, I just thought you might want to help out. The sooner this place is in decent shape, the sooner Dad and Susan are down under. Well, maybe just one quick coat. Miss Wyatt! Miss Wyatt! Yes, Mrs. Brink? Miss Wyatt, under normal circumstances, I would be happy to leap to my feet, bound from room to room, and open each window so that the rich fragrance of the islands could waft in. However, Thanks to you, I'm about as ambulatory as Stonehenge. You want me to open the window? If you would, yes. Mrs. Brink, I just want to say again how sorry I am. And whatever you need, just let me know. I see. Well, Miss Wyatt, I must say, if you feel up to the task, it would certainly improve my mood and that of my lawyers. Do you understand what I mean, Miss Wyatt? Yes, ma'am. Of course, I would expect a great deal from you, and I wouldn't want to waste all the time training you if you were going to foist it off on somebody else. No, I can take care of it. I'll take care of everything. All right, then. I would appreciate it if you would see to it that the furniture in here was arranged so that I would have everything close at hand. You can start with that table. Bring it over here. And my makeup. Don't forget the mirror. And while you're over there, the perfume. All of it, hurry. I thought I asked you to move the table. Oh, no, no, no. This just won't work at all. We have to make lists. There's a pad right next to you. Bring it here. Uh -oh. I'm not upsetting you, am I? No, ma'am. I'm sure I will. We're all put on this earth for a purpose. And that seems to be mine. Okay, I can't believe this. Hey, Jess, I talked to Jack. He's going to come by and help paint with us for a couple hours. Great. Look, Mrs. Brink is driving me nuts. Look at this list. She wants all this done before 3 o'clock. And it's like if I don't do everything she asks, she's going to sue us. And I've got to get down to the kitchen and get started on the cleanup party. Miss Wyatt! Could you? Miss Wyatt! No prob. No, there is one. You have to pretend you're me. I mean, she doesn't really know me, so just pretend like you know what she's talking about, even though you don't. Okay. Hi, 
Hi. Well, hi. I need some water. No, no, no. Not there. From the cooler. Now, I like one cube of ice crushed with a lemon. Twist, not a slice. And the ice goes in before the lemon, so it melts and cools the water. And what are you doing about that list I gave you? It's uh, being taken care of. I want everything done today. Okay. <laughs> Which means, Miss Wyatt, the lemon should be peeled sometime before the end of the century. Hey, Meg, how'd it go? That one can make the pro homicidal. Thanks, I owe you one. Oh, Meg, could you get the drinks? Sure. Please. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. No, I'm... I'm... I'm Tim! Hi! What are you doing here? Oh, well, um... I missed you. I didn't want to wait till the end of the day to see you. Oh, great, great. Yeah. My mom told me where you were staying. This is a great old place. <laughs> Your family owns it? Yeah, yeah, they sure do, yeah. Can I help? Yeah, uh, Lisa! Uh, Lisa, you can to you, too. That's wine for what's up, my stepmom. Real language boss. So, is this the reason you've been disappearing so much? Uh, I'm afraid so. Hi, I'm Tim. Susan Wyatt. Hi. Well, Lisa. Lisa, you can you can Come on, Tim. Wait a second, you. Please. All done. Let's get out. Are you sure? What do you want to do? I'd love to go swimming. Me too. Why don't we go change and I'll meet you on the beach halfway to your house. Okay. Okay. I'll get the sodas. Okay. You look like you're leaving. I am. How come? I mean, do you want me to go with you? No, I don't want you to go with me. You know, I can't figure you out. When I met you at the airport... Airport? Yeah, I thought you were pretty cool. You know, someone I could relate to. We met at the airport? Yeah, we were picking up our surfboards. We talked. Oh, okay, so you've got amnesia, right? Well, fine, me too. I don't remember a thing. Except you're not who I thought you were. Yeah, I'm not my sister. Sorry. Here you go. Megan? Are you all right? You don't look too well. Is it something you ate? Something I kissed. Oh, I'm sorry. I do want to find somebody who really appreciates you. I wonder if Tim has a friend. Tim? Hmm. Lisa's boyfriend. Very nice. Lisa's here with a guy named Tim. Hmm. You sure? Yeah. Why? So how's Tim? What? He stole his number, didn't you? That's why he couldn't find it. He stole his number and you've been going out with him this whole time, right? Uh, look, Megan, it's not what you think. Okay, I did it. I was trying to help you. Oh, thanks. Thanks a whole lot. Thanks for all your help. Oh, 
Man, I gotta say, this place ain't looking a whole lot better. Susan? Girls? Are you ready for the hula festival? Is everybody dressed? I am! Where is everybody? Hey! Susan! Hey, hola, hey, pelee, hola, hey, ya. Hey, hola, hey, pelee, hey, ba, hey, buddy. Hey! You think you could look any more ridiculous? Sorry, I don't. Oh, I know it's been a couple of decades, but come on, Jeffy. Ray. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Ray Redlick. <laughs> hey, hey, you're uh, you're looking pretty good. A little uh, gray on top, huh? Well, at least I still got a top. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, uh, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I still live here on the island. I heard uh -huh. you inherited the old place. Hey, yeah. sure like what you've done with it. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Listen, I'm sorry I can't stop to talk to you now. Talk I'm to uh, a uh, quick sacrifice. I'm going to the Uli Uli Hula Festival. Uh -huh. We're running a little late, so would you excuse me? Susan! Girls! Girls! <laughs> Oh, Ben, Ben, bad news about those buyers. All they want to do is bulldoze the Jeffrey. place. Jeffrey? I said absolutely not. Oh, Ray Redlick, Ben Milton, my lawyer. Jeff, have you seen Susan around anywhere? Jeffrey. Huh? Charlotte Brink is suing the hotel for a million dollars. What? Somebody's suing this place? <laughs> well, surely insurance would... There isn't any. Any what? Insurance. Your aunt let it lapse. Well, then there's no insurance. She's going to sue... Who? You. Me? Yes. For a million? No. She couldn't get a million from you. No. No. All she could ever hope to get is everything you've got. And everything we try and hide. Oh. Somebody get it, please! Hello? Hello. Jeffrey. Oh, thank goodness. Ben just told me that Charlotte's gonna chew. Where are you, Susan? Well, we're... We're, uh, with the police. Oh, the girls. Are the girls in trouble? Yes. So the whole time you were telling him you were me, I can't believe you, Lisa. You're not even sorry. Look, you have been hammering at me all afternoon. Now lay off. Yeah, Meg, give it a rest. Oh, and of course you knew too, right? This made me look like a total jerk. Girls, please. Yes, officer. I'm here for you. them. was an accident, but the next thing I knew... <sighs> Jeffrey, I promise you, it's a lot more innocent than it appears. I'm really sorry we missed the hula festival. Jeffrey, I, I wish you'd say something. You haven't said anything. I've always thought that there were times in life when the best thing to do was to say nothing. And if this isn't one of those times, I don't know what is. Ray, Susan, Susan, Ray. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Ray Redlick, an old oh. friend of Jeffy's. I, uh, uh, I'm sorry about the state. <laughs> where we, we've, we've had a, a sort of a tri tricky uh, day. Uh, this is our daughters. This is Megan and Lisa and Jesse. Well, I, I think we better go and get washed up. I'll, well, I'll, 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 I'll leave you to. Uh, sorry, honey. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll see you later. Well, they look like a fun crowd. Mrs. Brink, we're all friends here. What's the point of suing? The point, Mr. Milton, is I just love suing people. Tim, you know how when you look back, there are certain things you wish you'd said to certain people, but now you can't? You mean because they're dead? No. Okay, 
see, sometimes I've had problems with other guys about honesty and stuff. And I think it's important to be told the truth because, because if you don't, well, then it just gets worse later. I want you to know something. I will never lie to you, ever. I hate any kind of lying, so I don't do it. I mean it, Megan. Tim? What? There's something that I need to tell you. Wet. I love wet. Are you sure this is the place? Hey, come on, lady. You ought to know you own it. Oh, no, no, no. My sister and her husband own it. Hey, if I own this place, that's what I'd say, too. It hasn't exactly been paradise. More like vacationing in a demilitarized zone. Well, now that I'm here and I can keep an eye on the girls, you two can get off to Australia and salvage the honeymoon. Well, why would Jeffrey want to go on honeymoon with someone he hates? He doesn't hate you, Susie. Well, he should. I hate me. I've done everything wrong. No, you've just done everything wrong. You've tried. Oh, you mean there are still hundreds of things I haven't done I could still do wrong? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. I'll sleep like a baby now. There's also hundreds of things you still haven't tried you could do right. Like making up? Hmm. Yeah, Ray, she is a beauty. Where's your yacht? Ha uh, ha ha. So, you're into real estate now, huh? The last time I saw you, you wanted to be a rock star. The last time I saw you, you wanted to be a writer. I am a writer. Oh, no kidding. Well, that's great. Glad one of us could be what he wanted. Oh, yeah, such a shame. Now you have to settle for just being incredibly rich. <laughs> well, aloha! Hope I'm not interrupting. No, not at all. I was just uh, telling Jeffy uh, I would like to buy your hotel. What? What? Well, you, if it's still for sale. Well, yeah, I mean, we've been looking for a buyer. But most people just want it for the land. They just want to, oh, I know, I know. Rip it down, put up cracker boxes, make a quick buck. Yes, exactly. But now with Medusa up there suing us, we have to find a buyer. Oh, the right buyer, of course. It may not be the best business decision I ever made. A place probably eats money by the ton, but you know, I, I keep seeing it the way we used to see it. I'd just like it to be that way again, wouldn't you? Well, I think I, I think you're exactly what we've been looking for. Look, I, uh, I gotta make a conference call. Why don't, uh, why don't I check with you guys uh, a little later? Is that okay? Yeah, it'd be great. Great. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> believe that guy. You believe that guy? <laughs> well, one thing he's done, I'm glad about. What? He's got you to look at me again. Talk to me again. Let's find the girls and try to spend the day together. Okay? Yeah. Operative word here is try. <laughs> right. <laughs> WB? Uh, your, 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 your girlfriend, Wendy? Um... Yeah. Hmm? And R R. Ray, were you two, um... Yeah, well, we fought like crazy over her. Uh, she was my girlfriend, and then Ray just okay, came... Oh, like you don't already know. Because you hit my ball. That's the way the game oh. is played, Lisa. You did it just to get me. Watch it. Meg, leave Lisa alone. Yo, being around you two is like a major pain. Then why don't you make like a major exit? So Meg, sure. what's wrong? Girls! <sighs> well... Which ones do you want? Look, what am I supposed to do? Tim likes me. I'm the one who went out with him. Okay. So I sort of said I was Megan, but... Well, I, I, I don't actually think it's Tim she's upset about. I think it's this boy, Jack. Wait a minute, is this still about Lisa and that boy? Yeah, she's mad at Lisa, okay? 
Yeah. Fine, but I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even know what was going on. Still, I, th I think it would mean an awful lot to her if you just apologize. Huh? <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, I really think you ought to do something. I'd rather do anything than apologize. Lisa? Megan, Lisa told me it was a big misunderstanding that you've never even met this boy. Is that right? Is that right? Oh, that's it. Family that's wrapped around Lisa's finger. Must be a great family. If you're Lisa. Meg. Jess. Meg. Hi. No, no, we're just gonna have to push back our flight another few days. Yeah, I know, we're gonna miss Melbourne. Yeah, I know, we're probably gonna miss Tasmania. I know. I know. I don't know. And so the process of bonding is complete. Stepdaughter and stepmother can now begin a loving, lifelong relationship. But that's it? That's all? So what if they don't speak to you? Or listen to you or respect you? Rubbish. Rubbish. Stupid, useless rubbish. Susan? Oh, hello. <laughs> Been looking for you. You know, Jiffy uh, tells me you're an interior decorator. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, I'm building a place on the other end of the island. A little resort I thought you might like to come take a look. Oh, well, you want my advice on something? Oh, no, <laughs> nothing like that. Um, see, this is the thing. Um, I feel you're a little hesitant about me, and um, it's obvious you care about the hotel, and, and I pop up. It's just that the place is a rarity. I mean, it's almost like a work of art that ought to be restored, so. So I agree. So uh, why don't you let me show you the kind of place I built, uh, the kind of care I put into it. I'm pretty sure I can convince you. Oh, just around that point. I don't believe it. What? I can't even say it. I am such an idiot. We're not out of gas. Susan, if there was a gun on board, I'd tell you to shoot me. Oh, don't be silly. I mean, it happens, I suppose. Well, we're not going to make it to the site. Not today, anyway. We probably ought to radio for a tow. Now, the best papayas on the island are sold about 15 miles from here. I'd like you to go buy me one. There's water all over the floor. No, 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 use the rag, not the towels. And what is that pitiful, distracted look on your face? Young love, food poisoning, what? Are you really gonna sue my dad for a million dollars? Miss Wyatt, yesterday you disappeared. But Mrs. Brink, I was in jail. I suppose you think that's some kind of excuse. Do as I tell you when and how I tell you, and I might consider dropping the suit. But disappoint me again, and I'll serve you to my lawyers for lunch. Miss Wyatt? Miss oh. Wyatt! Lisa, could you please help me out? You mean with the panther woman? Please. Miss Wyatt! You do not have to scream, you know. We're all on the same island. Well, you've certainly gotten a little snappy. I must be wearing you out after all. No, I just think you ought to keep your voice down. And why is that? Because it's hard to hear the volcanoes erupt. Now, what can I get you? A cup of tea. Hot, not iced. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight in dewdrops. Thank you. Great stuff, isn't it? Hmm. It's not bad. I used to go out with this English guy. <laughs> they are real snobs about tea. I mean, you just say the name Lipton, they get tense. <sighs> Don't tell me that was a smile. I'm not sure I like this new attitude of yours. Well, that's a bummer. 
bummer? Champagne? No, thank you. It's funny. What? Oh, I was just uh, thinking, uh, I don't know, I, my life, uh, Jeffy's life, meeting you. Uh, now, usually I don't, uh, I don't envy people, but uh, he's really a lucky guy having someone like you. Well, I'm no Wendy Birkenbeck. <laughs> Oh, you know about her? Well, it's difficult not to. I see her initials everywhere I go. I sort of get the feeling that there's a, it's kind of a touchy subject between you and Jeffrey. Well, <laughs> we were 17, I guess. Um, Jeffy met her first, and, <laughs> and I met her. He took it pretty well. Did he? Well, I mean, what can you do? Um, I, it's not like I stole her or anything. She just liked me better. So this isn't the first time you've wanted something of his. What do you mean? I mean the hotel. Oh. Susan, have I said anything to offend you? Or... No. Good. But you maybe want a radio for a tow before you do. Susan? Hey, Sus. Hey, Jeffy. Oh, hiya, Chucky. Have you seen my wife around anywhere? Not for a while, no. Well, she took off with that rich guy. Ray? Yeah, they went for a ride in his boat. Are you sure it was Susan, my wife? Well, you know, who's to say? We're dealing with a real trompe lie here, as the French say. But, yeah, I think it was her. Well, uh, how long have they been gone? All day. All day? All day. All day. All day with Ray. Aloha, Wyatt Hotel. Megan? Yeah, I think she's right here. Are you Megan? Yeah. It's for you. Hello? Who? Tim. Oh, Tim. Yeah, hi. Uh, yesterday? Oh, I got detained. What? Dinner with your parents? Sure. I'd love to meet them. Hi! I just have to return. Oh, there you are. Back. I was getting worried. Oof. Oh! Oh! Ah. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just glad you're back. Oh, I was just on the beach. The beach? You weren't with Ray? No. Out on his boat all day? No. Oh, good. I gotta tell you, Ray is the last person I would want my wife out on a boat. Oh, with. no, no, oh. Jeffrey, I'm not your. Not that it would have ruined our marriage or anything. I mean, it could have, but it. That's ridiculous. Ah, here, that's the most important thing. And I was being, have you seen my glasses anywhere? Hmm? Uh. Must have been Sharon with Ray. Ooh. Must be here somewhere. Where are they? Uh, uh, hmm, uh. I know I put them around here somewhere. Yeah. Here? No. Huh? No, 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 I haven't seen her. Nope. Meg? Lisa's not around, is she? You better hope not. She sees you wearing her stuff, she'll kill you. After today, clothes are going to be the least of her worries. Miss Wyatt! <laughs> That's funny. No, they don't seem to be here. Uh, you know, I, I put them around here somewhere. Well, I'll just go look downstairs. Well, wait a minute, they'll turn up. Uh, you smell good. New perfume? No, actually. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> well, our boy certainly seems taken with you, Megan. Well, I'm pretty taken with him, too. Aren't they sweet?
Well, uh, perhaps we should order. I should have worked up an appetite. Um, I'll have the um, lobster bisque, um, lobster salad, and um, lobster. Hey, you're kind of cute. Make my first course your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> phone number? Mm. Mm. Uh, I'll just, I'll just have the salad. <laughs> Honey. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Do you want some more ice? Mm -hmm. I'll get some more ice. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll come with you. Hold on. No, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no. no, you just <laughs> sit there. I'll I've get hardly some more. seen you all day. Come on, I'm starting to forget what you look like. Oh, no, no, really. No. You... Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, I'm fine. Oh, Jeffrey! Jeffrey, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure you're not hurt? I'm fine. <coughs> oh. Hey. Oh. Sharon? Susan? Jeffrey. Ray. Jeffy. Ray. Jeffrey. Susan? You seem a little upset to you? I guess not. Oh, Susie, I'm so sorry. I mean, I only came to help you out with the girls, but I seem to have turned a simple miss. Ah! Simple misunderstanding into a French farce. Right down to the slamming door. Oh, none of this is your fault, Sharon. It's just Jeffrey and I trying to adjust to each other under rather trying circumstances. Now, I should have realized immediately. But it was also confusing. I mean, by the time I knew he didn't know I was me, I didn't know if being me would be worse for you, so I didn't say I was me. But I didn't say I was you, which only made me seem more like you. But then you showed up, which made it obvious that I was me, because it was obvious that you were you. Obviously. Look, Jeffy, first off, I just want to say how sorry I am about the misunderstanding yesterday. I don't know what I did or what you think I did, but I'm sorry, and you have my word nothing happened, okay? Okay. Now let's move on to a happier subject. I'm, uh, I'm ready to make the deal, Jeffy. I'm ready to buy the, the hotel today, if you still want to sell it to me. Of course I still want to sell it to you. I mean, I don't want to sell it to anybody, but I have to. And you love the place, it's important to you. Seems right, right? Right. But we got to convince Susan. I, I don't think she wants to sell. Oh, no, it's just, she's just, we've, we've just been miscommunicating lately, that's all. If you say so, buddy. But I, I, I got to tell you what I see. A woman that doesn't want to hear about practical solutions. Now, you and I are ready and willing to make the deal. Yeah. But we've got to convince her. <laughs> no problem. Mr. Lerner, Yeah. Here, right? All right, there. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Mrs. White. Oh, hello, Tim. I'm looking for Megan. Yeah, she is right through there. Oh, no, I just saw her. She's up in her room. No, no, she's eating breakfast. Right over there, Tim. He says Megan, but he means Lisa. Are you sure? Trust me. Hi. Hi. He wants Megan. I think I want a bit of fresh air. Hi. Hi. So where's Megan? Tim, what is this? What are you doing now, playing dumb? I'm not playing. I really don't know. You don't? You have no idea why I don't want to see you again. No. Wow. It's no wonder a few guys have questioned the number of digits in your IQ. I don't deserve this. I, I really don't. For you to come over here and call me stupid. Well, under the circumstances, what do you expect? A recommendation to med school? Under <laughs> what circumstances? How about my dad thinks you're nuts? I've never even met your dad. Oh, wow. This has gone from weird to scary. Look, I don't care what I, I did or what you think I did. I don't deserve it. Megan. Okay, That's Jesse. Uh, That's Megan. Jack. Hi. 
So, uh, where's the one I talked to, Lisa? You talked to Lisa? Yeah, she came looking for me, wanted to know what happened at the party, and, uh... Well, <laughs> like, we figured out that it was her kissing this other guy and not you. <laughs> Lisa did that? For me? Good. Bye. Lisa! Lisa, I'm very, very proud of you. Lisa, are you all right? Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Fine. Lisa, where are you and Tim? I'm fine, okay? I better go and see what's wrong. No, I know what it is. Do you? Yeah. Be right back. <laughs> hey, so, uh, they're like sisters for real? Hi, Miss Harris. I need to see Tim. I, I don't think that's a very good idea. Well, it's pretty important. Is he here? Look, he he's very upset. Right Is that now. him down on the beach? Megan, he doesn't want to see you. Oh, Mrs. Harris, that wasn't me yesterday. I'm not like that. I was just being my sister. I think you need medical attention. Come on. Do I know you? Not yet. OK, this is really easy to explain. It all started when you met him in the airport, and he liked you, but you didn't like him. No offense. And then I met his mom, but I didn't want to go out with him, but you did, but not as you, as me. And then you liked him, and then I wanted to, but you already were, but I didn't know that. And then he thought I was you, which is why he talked to me. And then he saw you and thought it was me, and that's why I left. And then I found out that you were with him saying you were me, and that's when I decided to get back at you by being you, which is why he was mad at you. But see, he's not really mad at you because it wasn't you. It was me being you being me. See? Yeah, <laughs> I actually understood that. <laughs> I didn't. But I actually don't care, Lisa. Yes, Mrs. Brink. No, Mrs. Brink. How about some freeze-dried arsenic, Mrs. Brink? I'm going to get the place by tomorrow. I'm positive. I know your situation. I understand your situation. I understand complete. Right, right. After tomorrow, financing goes bye bye. But it's not going to go bye bye because I'm going to button this baby up. Look, I had some new plans drawn up. They're on the boat. I'm going to fax them to you so you can see that we are talking about a high profit. I, yeah, I got to go. Yeah, I tell Aunt Violet I hope she passes the gallstones. Boy, I love this old place, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Um, here are the papers all ready to be signed. Um, look them over. Have any questions, I'll be around. Jeff. Susan, look, first of all, about last night, I'm sorry. I overreacted. No, no. I understand about not trusting Ray. It's not that I don't trust Ray. It's just that in certain areas, based on past experience, I don't, uh... Yeah, all right, I don't trust Ray, but only in specific areas. As far as this hotel goes, we couldn't find a better buyer. I... I just have a feeling about him. Feeling? Like what? Well, I... I, I can't define it precisely, but... I just don't... Susan, I have a feeling about this, too, and that is if Ray buys this hotel, he takes on Charlotte Brink's lawsuit. And if he doesn't, we could lose it anyway, along with everything that we have. I know what you're saying is logical and sensible and all that, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Well, I can. This hotel means a lot to me, too. But so does our future. Okay, well, I'll call you later. We'll do something. Okay. Great, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Meg, what? Look, um, don't tell anybody I said this, but I, I was sort of... <laughs> okay, I was, um, I'm s I, I apologize for what happened about Tim. Okay? Well, I'm sorry, too. Truce? Truce. <laughs> but I still want my dress Just back. Just sign okay? it. Are you ordering me to sign it? Is 
that it? No, of course not. I'm not ordering you to sign it. I would never oh. order you to sign it. I'm just telling you, you have to sign it. Oh, well, I don't see the difference, and I don't like your tone. Well, Susan, you're being illogical, impractical, and immature. Immature? Me, immature? Yes. Who sulks because he missed the Uli Uli Festival? I don't sulk. Who broke a door because I was stuck in a boat? It was an old door. If I'm being immature, you're being prenatal. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, you're being... More! What was all that yelling? Was that Dan Susan again? It was about Ray again. You know, I just heard him on the phone. I think he's got something sleazy going on with this hotel. We should find out what? We should find out now, otherwise Dan and Susan will spend their honeymoon in divorce court. breaking and entering. Don't be such a scaredy cat. And we've already got records, so there'd be no leniency. We'd get five years, hard time. And Dad would find out. Maybe we should think about this. We're not gonna get caught. Come on. Great. No, I'm telling you guys, he's got some sort of plan. Tennis courts, golf, swimming pool, a water slide. Yeah, it's my kind of plans. So I guess Ray's okay. So let's jam. Yeah, Jess, I guess you heard wrong. What's this? Some other Redlick resort. Let's go. What are all those ugly buildings? Condos. Hey, where'd the hotel go? He paved it. You gonna bring me a martini, my cat? talk to you. It's about Ray. Yeah? Well, um, see, we don't think he's being that honest with you. Oh, I see. You've been talking to Susan, have you? No. Well, I heard him talking on the phone. He was talking about what he's going to do to the hotel. Like he has plans for it. Yeah, well, of course he does, honey. No, I mean, like he's going to tear it down. Did you, uh, hear him say that? I didn't really exactly hear him say it. Well, then what gives you the idea that that's what he's going to do? Because last night, when we saw you and Susan were upset, we all went down. Went down where? Nowhere. Nothing. We're just worried about you and Susan. Oh, I see, girls. Look, I know uh, it seems like a big deal when parents fight. And it's been a long time since you've heard anything like that. But don't worry. Susan and I are going to work this thing out. We love you. It's going to be OK. OK? OK. 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 Nice going. If he finds out we broke into Ray's boat, he'll really hit the roof. Well, the old honesty thing sure wasn't working. Now what? Girls! Ray? Psst, Ray. Hi, kids. Uh, you want to talk to me? Susan and our dad haven't been getting along very well. You probably know that. Well. Yeah, they've been fighting a lot. Look, it's just been a really bad time for them. I think they just need time alone. 
I know you really want to buy the hotel and everything, but it's just a really been really bad for them. Thank you. Um, listen, kids, you know I'd never do anything to hurt um, your dad or Susan. It's gotten so bad Susan's leaving. A deal. A deal is just not that important. Susan's leaving. We saw her upstairs in her room, packing. Oh, well, uh, good. All right. Um, thanks. <laughs> um, you know, um, excuse me. Um, you know, I am glad we had this conversation. Um, and don't worry, it, it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, uh, just fine. Is everything all right? It's just my marriage. <clears throat> I really don't want to talk about it. Sure, I understand. I, uh, I have to, I have to get out of here. But there are no commuter flights to Oahu until so late. Well, wait a minute. You know, I, I'm, I'm getting ready to leave. Well, on your boat? Um, I'm heading back to Oahu. Can I give you a lift? What do I have to do? Hobble over there and do it myself. I want those magazines. Bring them here. I really have to talk to you, seriously, about this lawsuit. Now, I've done everything you've asked, and I just have to settle this right now. Are you still going to sue my dad? Miss Wyatt, I am trying to concentrate on the furniture. That's not good enough, Mrs. Brink. It certainly is. Now, can we get back to work? No. I beg your pardon. Did you say no? Yes, I said no. And I'm not moving one more stick of your furniture or getting you one more glass of water until you give me an answer right now. Yes or no? Are you still going to sue my dad? I dropped that suit some time ago. Really? Yes. Frankly, I lost interest in it when it became obvious that I was the clear winner. Oh, Mrs. Brink, that's my dear girl. Get off my bed and back to work. Silly look on your face reminds me of your father, that idiot. He's wasted quite enough of my time. Now, that chair belongs by the stairs, and don't tell me it's too heavy. Dad? Okay, I'm gonna make this very simple, very direct, and probably too polite. Get out! You can't throw me out, Mr. Wyatt. Mrs. Brink, there are many things I can't do. Dad, uh listen! But as long as I am the owner of this insane asylum, I can kick you out, you ungrateful, bullying bag of wind. Dad, listen, you don't understand. Five minutes, Mrs. Brink. <laughs> now, what's going to happen in five minutes? I'm going to call the police and have you tossed out. You have to be the most inept hotel owner on the face of the earth. When your aunt ran this place, there was style, service, class, and it was quiet. Well, if you think that you can run it any better, Mrs. Brink, why don't you just go ahead and buy it? Fine. Then I can throw you out. <laughs> well, how are you planning on doing that? I'm buying this place, Mr. Wyatt. Or did you miss that? What about the lawsuit? Mr. Wyatt, your daughter has been a charming companion and more than made up for your incompetence. So, yes, I am dropping the lawsuit and buying the hotel. You'll sign a contract saying you won't tear it down, you won't change it. The only thing I'll change, Mr. Wyatt, is you. Good day. I said good day. Ah. Chuck! Chuck, have you seen Susan? She left. She left? She left with that friend of yours on his boat. She sure is fond of the open sea, isn't she? I love lobster. Fabulous little fellows. <laughs> Ready for dessert? Mm, not quite. Right. I can't thank you enough for rescuing me. Well, you know, I have to be honest uh, with you. My uh, motives aren't entirely pure. Um, when I want something, I don't stop until I get it. 
Now, Jeffy's already signed. He's and he knows a good offer when he sees one. Now, if you'll just look this over and consider it. Get Wendy Brickenbick, get the hotel, but you're not gonna get my wife. Hello? Yeah, Ray, I know Susan's there. Well, of course she's here. Well, listen, I just need to talk to her, so put her on the phone. Well, she's just finishing signing the papers. Look, I don't care about any papers. Just put her on the phone, all right? Hey, she finally agreed to sell me a hotel. Isn't that great? Look, we don't want to sell you the hotel. Hey, you're a little late there, Jeffy. Listen, buddy, I hate being called Jeffy. My name is Jeffrey or Jeff. It is not Jeffy. And I hate what you did with Wendy Birkenbeck. I've always hated you for that. And I hate what you're doing with Susan. And we're not going to sell you the hotel, so put my wife on the phone. Raymond! That's quite an outburst there, Jeffy. Uh, she... Are you finished signing? Right. Yes. Um, your husband wants to talk to you. Hello, Bill? No, no, no. This is your husband, Jeffrey. Uh, sweetheart, listen. Jeffrey, you're still here. Jeffrey. Yes, of course I am. Susan, please. <gasps> Jeffrey. I know we got off to a rocky left. start, but I, I don't want to lose honor, you, and, and I don't think you want to lose me. So, so please, so Susan, stupid. please. I'm Jeffrey, trying to talk listen. to Susan. What? Jeffrey, this is Sharon. Sharon? Who? Susan. Sharon, what are you doing on Ray's boat? Sharon's on Ray's boat? What do you mean, Sharon? Susan, I thought you were on Ray's boat. How could I be on Ray's boat? I was looking for you. You were looking for me? Yes. Wow. Well, the, the girl said you were angry and you'd left and... Oh, oh Jeffrey. Honey. Oh, Neil, I thought you'd gone. I thought you'd left me. You're really not Susan? I'm really not Susan. This is ridiculous. No, it's genetics. Goodbye, you two. Have a great honeymoon. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> I think I'm about ready for dessert. The girl said that I left? Yeah, they said you just left. Oh, I wait, we can leave. You just leave. This. Girls! Yes, Dad? You call? What's up? Listen to that. Jeffrey's Angels. Mm hmm. All right, let's take it from the top. See, I heard Ray on the phone saying the whole deal was fine apart, and I needed your signature right away. So we just kept him busy until his time ran out. Yeah, but we sure didn't know Dad was going to blow up at Mrs. Frank and call Ray and stuff. I know, if we knew it was going to get that ugly, we would have sat around and watched. Yeah. Well, I hope you three can manage to squeeze in a little fun now. Yeah, we're just really sorry you two have to get going. Mm. Oh, I know, but you're being awfully brave about it. Mm. Are they being awfully brave? Mm, awfully. Yeah. Bless you. Take care. Oh, oh, don't get too much done, all right? Yeah, you guys are going to hurry. See you very okay. soon. Okay. Oh, okay. Bye. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. I'm sure you will. Now, Mr. Stutz, what is our new motto again? There's always something to be done. Excellent. I don't deserve this, Jeffy. Actually, Chucky, you do. So, we all meet at last. Well, I must say, you're quite a sight. It's like having a hangover. And for the next two weeks, Mrs. Brink, they're your hangover. What? No way. Dad, come on. Wait, look, Susan, I mean, what about the family? What about bonding? Oh, I think we bonded pretty nicely. Don't you, Jeffrey? Perfect. Bye-bye, girls. Have fun. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, just who are these louts hanging about? We'll have no boys loitering in my lobby. And besides that, girls, you'll have no time for boys. I've seen what three of you can do when you pretend to be one. But let's see what three of you can do as three of you. Now, we'll start in the lobby by rearranging all the furniture, and then we'll go into the kitchen. Come on. And then I want one of you to empty the garbage. Another one can do the dishes. And Jesse, dear, the toilets are a disgrace.